Welcome to Tarot, my love, uh, on the beach edition, Capricorns. Uh, we're doing your uh, heart spread today. This is for the second half of April, guys. And um, this is for whoever's on your mind, whoever's in your heart. Uh, every Saturday is Sag Cap Day, and we also do the four pillars read, which is uh, if you're uh, totally single and you have no one in your, on your mind, really. Uh, so this is not, you don't have to be married or anything. Um, it's just going to pick up on who's the one you're most thinking of, right, during, with this reading. As you're watching this reading, the caps, this is for the second half of April 2021. on the beach. Um, I hope the sound is okay. Uh, Mike went out and was giving us trouble, so they're moving on away. But it's Mexico, and sometimes... Mexico time works against you, and sometimes it works with you, though, but, uh, you know, if you got a margarita and you buy the pool, it's pretty good. <laughs> Need something fixed sometimes? Hey, you know, you're going to have to wait a minute. Uh, let's see what we got for our Capricorn friends. We're going to look at you and your person, There's what else you're thinking of here, and, uh, Pair the energies and then get advice from spirit and the relationship as a whole, such as it is. You're coming in with the Ace of Swords. We're using the uh, Theory of Tarot deck here today's first day for it. So, um, your energy in and around relationships, um, there's really good energy to come in with if you're coming into a relationship. Um, only thing with it, it could be a little uh, fast. Uh, abrupt um, you're quick to speak um, and you might have an interest in someone you know or not really this I'm trying to show where your energy is around relationships and uh, uh, try to separate it from here which is going to show more where um, you're at once you're responding to this person See, bringing up that very, uh, you're, you're wanting to say what's on your mind. You're not going to hold back, that's for sure. Now, this is the Libra card, Justice. Now, what comes to mind with you being the Ace of Swords, you know, she's got a sword too, um, but uh, this is, they're not going to speak out. It comes to mind. Uh, they're very good energy to come into relationship with. They may have been recently going through divorce, if it's literal there, um, that kind of thing. Um, um, they may be coming into relationships with, uh, you know, some sense that they want justice. It can be a little hard because, you know, it's a major kind or something bigger than them. It's like uh, this is them come feeling in and around relationships right now uh, a little bit something out of their control because, you know, maybe whatever happened to them, there really is on their mind that there should be justice, you know, uh, in relationships. Of course, what does that do? Brings in injustice. Like the universe has that hard of hearing thing. <laughs> and it just says, uh, oh, you're talking a lot about injustice? Okay, I can bring you injustice. You know, Eight of Pentacles. And a uh, very different Eight of Pentacles card. Now, this is your energy in the relationship once you're in it. So, very solid and practical kind of energy for a relationship with the Ace of Swords. You know? It's like you and your person may be coming in with kind of, it's almost like coming in and negotiating. <laughs> like it could be a business-like relationship, uh, but uh, romance channel. But it, it could be a transactional relationship, you know what I'm talking about. Like they're like, you know, well, I want this and I need you to do that. Like you would talk to an employee and you're like, okay, uh, I could do that, but I can't do this. And I need you to do this and to do that. And they're like, well, no. Like this uh, energy, I mean, and if not literally talking about it, a little bit something going on under there, and you know, with the eight of pentacles, it, it's okay. But when you're in the relationship, you're focusing on work, you know, and not your uh, job. This is like work in the relationship. So uh, it's like it's feeling like work to you, or it's feeling, uh, you know, the eight of pentacles is good work. It's it's not stressed out. It's really, you know, we need to do something. It's doing something with our lives. It's our work and they're coming in with strength wow Leo card how they feel in the relationship um, we dealing with a Leo but this is very good 
going from justice to strength. So, like I said, they were um, feeling like maybe, hey, babe, um, you know, a little bit uh, negotiating, a little bit triggery. Um, look, want to make sure there's no problems. But here with strength, um, they would feel secure in the relationship. You know, when it comes to mind here, uh, Capricorns, they probably got mm, the, I know you can't win a relationship, but in some sense, in the dynamic of your relationship, uh, they pretty clearly have the power. Uh, they're, um, you, this Eight of Pentacles, I think this is you really kind of wanting to please them. And it's a Capricorn thing, it's like work, you know? Uh, so also, you, know, you may have a Capricorn Venus, you know? Um, so like Capricorn Venus, you value work on the relationship. Excuse me, above all else, really. Okay. Let's see what your advice is in the relationship, the four of wands. Uh, even more what I said, you, you feel like, maybe you really feel like this person's a catch here, Capricorn. Um, like some sense, like I don't want to blow it. Um, but this is advice for you from the universe in the relationship. And it's clearly, this is not, I don't think this is the happy home. It's building the happy home, the actions, the wands, the act of creating and building a relationship, a long-term relationship committed, or a marriage, Capricorns. And that's your advice. Now, look, it's underneath the Eight of Pentacles, so um, maybe that's what you want to work at. And so far, it looks good because, you know, they feel strong in your presence and this relationship. And it might be very important for them with justice there to have a good, strong feeling about the relationship and the Four of Swords. Now look at the difference. So you're the Four of Wands, your advice, and your partner's getting the advice of the Four of Swords. Um, I think what this is talking about, they need some time because this is the advice for them in the relationship. It doesn't have to do with you. Um, it's their advice. And so it's like the universe is saying to them, um, heal this justice issue that you have, this sense that they have that the relationships uh, are constantly threatening to go out of balance and um, that they're going to end badly or end in divorce is be a literal interpretation. And thinking about that and to move uh, into the strength energy so it's like too you're uh, you give them a sense maybe that they can heal uh, like because you're showing this eight of Pentacles and the four of wands uh, a lot of strong interest um, and maybe they're responding to that Capricorn love that's all about um, doing things for someone and building something for someone building you know, they love to build a life they're in love um, and they, they need that and it, you're gonna give them time to heal You know and you know you want to give them time you want to be with them, you want to be around them And you're like basic they might say to you Capricorn, you know I kind of I'm really interested in you But I kind of need some time to heal or something and you're like you're like heal with me. It's okay I, I love you. I want you to heal with me Knight of Cups, which is kind of what I just said knights are actions cups are emotions this is the advice for the relationship now as a whole for both of you. The relationship itself is like the composite chart in astrology here. And it's to move forward here with this cup of love with your with your love. You know? Um, give your love. Now in this reading right here, if you can see it, the Knight of Cups is looking at the four of swords. And it, it's almost like you could see the Four of Swords is in bed and isn't feeling good. I hear the Knight of Cup is bringing them some tea or something to make them feel better. I really feel like you're, you're doing this. Um, um, but it's almost like um, I think you might have thought or you have said, like, it's, it's literally like my pleasure to serve you. It's my pleasure to take care of you, you know. Um, and it, that makes them feel very good. They, they're secure in the moon as an outcome. The moon is an outcome. It's very different in this deck. This is the ethereal tarot. I didn't say the first run of this. The 
balloon. I'll clarify that. So you're going to move forward, um, but with the Knight of Cups, it's slow. And I think that's going to leave in the relationship overall um, not a bad feeling, but uh, an unsettled feeling because it's going to take time here as you go forward. Like if you're not living together, maybe you won't be living together. If you're not married, maybe you won't be getting married for some period of time going forward. And there may be a sense that uh, with the moon, things are just sort of not coming together for you. Um, can't quite get your arms around it, around something. Uh, but you're being ever patient here and uh, giving your partner this chance um, to heal and um, the time. And we'll see what the outcome is here. The Seven of Wands. And I think we could be looking at a period of like seven months here is what I get, more like months. So with the Seven of Wands, uh, you're, you're going to have to be defending your partner, I think, because they're the ones healing. And you want this Four of Wands. You're doing the work. Uh, Capricorns can do this. I mean, if people talk about Mars and what's the, the uh, you don't want a Capricorn coming after you, um, especially when it comes to the family and take care of family. Um, I think you're going to be having to defend them. It's like in order for them to heal, um, and part of your Knight of Cups mission here, um, this uh, constant uh, delivery of like love in response to whatever. This is like meeting them with love, you know, meeting them with love. And um, eventually you have to cut through anything that you, that's unclear with uh, the Seven of Wands taking actions and kind of like defensive actions. But it's going to be successful, and you're defending your castle. It's you. It's righteous defense, righteous anger, and I think partly what they're healing from is some issue from the past, maybe a divorce, maybe it's a period of time where you're waiting for the divorce to be final, and maybe with the moon, it's unclear as to how things are going to be different between you when it's final. Maybe, you know, maybe you're you're thinking like, well, maybe they just want me to heal, and if you're a healer, this you get this a lot. It's like. People come to you and fall in love and heal and psh, you go on, you know, uh, once you heal them. But um, I don't feel that way. I just feel that you're going to have to continue to uh, act uh, defensively and take actions and be assertive here, Capricorn. And give it that time, maybe seven months, and be really patient and always meet them with love. I mean, again, if this resonates and they deserve it. Um, because that's what's going to heal them. You know, you're maybe the only person in their life that always meets them with love. It's like uh, the dog at home that always, when you come home, the dog is always there for you, always wants to be with you, always uh, cares about you, Capricorn. And um, thank you guys. Like, it helps a lot. And it's good car. It's easy. Uh, subscribe. We appreciate that. Appreciate all the subscriptions. Thanks for joining us.